Hey guys, Matt here, welcome back, and today we are taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of September for 2019. So I worked pretty hard to find these apps, and overall they're very useful for me and my lifestyle, but definitely if you have any suggestions, leave your comments down below, and if you would like to keep up to date with my videos, definitely do hit subscribe and turn on the bell icon. But yeah, without further ado, we're going into the video, so here we go. Okay, so going into the list, the first app is called Tellos. Now the UI of this one is a little bit old style, however it does have some really good functionality. Basically it identifies incoming calls and it also blocks unwanted calls like spam calls and it has a search feature which allows you to look up a number and if there's no current information on the number you can go ahead and leave a rating so 9 means it's super untrustworthy and you can go ahead and pick the category as well for the caller and you can also leave a name and some other caller information so when other people with this app get a call from that number it will tell them your comment and it can tell them not to answer. So I believe there's 27,000 comments every month on numbers across the world. So the more people that will use this app, the more comments, the more information and the more help it will be to everyone else. So it kind of works like Waze where you go ahead and report an incident. However, this is for calls. It has an option to show the contacts in your phone or you can go ahead and untick that. There is a thing called instant check. So there will be a bar at the bottom when you get a phone call and it will tell you who it thinks is calling and what their rating is, so whether they're trustworthy or not. Make sure you select the right region because that really matters in terms of the numbers that are calling you and where it's gonna detect they're coming from. There is a premium version. If you type in the code MATTROB, it will give you a limited time premium version, which does automatically allow you to block calls, which is a really good feature. But this is a great app, go and check it out. Up next is Chrono. This is really cool if you have a desktop computer and you tend to keep your phone in your pocket or away, maybe when it's charging. And this actually allows you to go ahead and pull up your notifications and some information from your device. So you can go ahead and view the battery percentage, push alerts. You can also move your clipboard from your laptop to your phone. You can call your device and also you can go ahead and send files. It pops up with all the notifications, so all your apps will pop up here, even your messages, and you can go into full screen and there's some additional options which allow you to go ahead and do things like play videos and also play pause music. Up at app number three is Appy Weather. This is a super accurate and really nicely designed weather app. I really do like this. I actually pointed it out in the what's on my phone video. If you haven't watched that, definitely go check it out. Um, but it's a really nice simple weather app which has loads of accurate weather forecasts for your weekly, daily and hourly forecasts and it also allows you to add multiple locations as well so you can easily go ahead and switch between them. There's a radar for premium users if you want that and there's also some widgets I believe but to me the free version is good enough and in the settings you can go ahead and change your unit measurements, your date and time and also the appearance because it has a really nice black AMOLED theme which I really think just helps spice it up and it just looks a little bit nicer to me. But it has really nice graphics, definitely go check it out. Up at number four is Brainly, and it is back to school season, so you're gonna be starting to work again in all your different fields of subjects and high school and things like that. So really, this is a great app for all you guys who get stuck on your homework or just work in general. It actually allows you to go ahead and ask a question, and there's loads of people who can actually go ahead and leave a response. So you can go ahead and scan a question or simply type it, and it will give you points for responding, but you can leave an answer and an explanation. And if the answer requires you to enter more mathematical symbols and things like that, this actually allows you to input it with a dedicated keyboard. So it's really useful for students or people that just need a little bit of extra hand at home, but it's definitely really nice. It allows you to choose your subject as well as your level, so college or school, and you can go ahead and choose which subject you're interested in or which one you're studying, and that really helps filter out all of the other questions that are kind of irrelevant. But this can be a huge help in hand. Definitely would recommend this. Up at number five is clean email. This one is super handy for if your inbox is overloaded with things that you don't care about. And basically it has various options to just sort out your inbox. So the first one is quick clean and this allows you to remove emails of certain different categories. So if they're older than two years, if they're larger than 10 megabytes, if they have certain information in them like marketing or newsletters, things like that. So it allows you to easily go ahead and move those into the trash. There's also an unsubscriber option which allows you to go through all of the emails that you're subscribed to and you can go ahead and unsubscribe from them so you won't receive any more junk emails from them. So this is super handy and honestly, having an inbox full of irrelevant emails that you don't care about is the worst thing. 
So definitely go ahead and check this app out. Super handy. And there's also more options which allow you to go ahead and view individual emails, as well as go ahead and archive them, block them, add labels to them. And really, this is a must have for most people who use their emails. Coming up next is Cyberflix TV. So I don't know if you guys knew about an app called Terrarium TV, but this is very similar to that. It got shut down, um, but this is sort of a replacement. There's a load of free movies and TV shows in here. I'm not recommending you should use this and definitely would recommend that you do pay for the original movies and TV shows. However, if you want to watch something or just try it out to see if you like it, then this is a great app for that. In the settings, there's options to remove cam versions and only display HD versions, but basically it has pretty much every series you can think of and you can go through seasons and episodes and when you watch them, it will mark them as watched. Um, pretty nice app and they're all super high quality. Up next is CRISPR. This is my wallpaper app of the month and that's actually where I found the wallpaper that I'm currently using on my home screen. So it's this nice red wallpaper. And um, basically this app is super nice because it allows you to customize the wallpapers and it also gives you a little bit of information about who took the photo. So you can go ahead and change your contrast, your brightness, saturation, sharpness, and you can even go ahead and crop it or add some text to it or add a blur effect. And I really do like the addition of this feature, even though that this app does have some excellent wallpapers, sometimes it's just nice to customize it just that little bit more. There's also a built-in dark mode, and overall, there's some pretty crispy wallpapers that you guys are going to want to check out. Up next is Fing. This one's really useful if you're setting up a server, or you just want to see who's connected to your network. You can go ahead and do a scan, and it will scan your network for all the devices. It will show what type of device it is, the internal IP address, the MAC address. You can go ahead and ping the device. You can also go ahead and view open ports as well. So pretty handy, especially if you're testing out a server or how secure something is, or even if you just wanna remove unwanted devices off your network, you can go ahead and do that, which is just super handy. Not only that, but there is an option to do a speed test on your network. And there's also an events section as well, which keeps track of all the devices that connect to the network. Up next is Icon Pack Studio. This one's great if you like round icons, but maybe the icon packs you see online aren't something that you really want. This app allows you to fully customize all of the icons and basically it works by making a generalized icon that applies to all the icon pack. So you can make it select the default app color, you can add shadow effects, 3D effects, you can change the shape of the icon and you can really customize the edges and how curved they are. You can transform them and make them into strange, weird shapes, however you want. You can add text to the icon and you can change the internal colors, add a shadow effect or a glare effect. And I think this is great if you just want to add that little bit of a twist to your home screen and just customize it a little bit more. The last app on the list is Speaker Cleaner. This app basically has two options and it emits various frequencies which expel water out of the speakers on your device. So this is super handy if you drop it in a puddle or something or it's wet outside and you get water in your speaker, you can go ahead and do this and it will make the water come out of the speaker, similar to on the Apple Watch series. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That's my top 10 Android apps of September for 2019. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a thumbs up down below and remember to subscribe. Peace out guys.